So today I have a huge Winco grocery haul, you guys. I have been saying it for the past few grocery hauls that I know for a fact that when I went to Winco, I got a whole lot more for my money. And it is true, you guys. Look at my counter. It is completely filled. Family of five, if you don't know. And I spent $575, you guys. Go back and look at my other grocery hauls where I've spent around the same amount at Walmart. There is no way that I would get this much stuff for the same price at Walmart. So I am super, super happy with that. Not gonna be fun to put it all away, but Winco is the way to go. I think we're definitely going to have to go back. Baby girl sleep. I'm going to try to get through this video as fast as I can because I still have a lot of things to put away. As you guys know, Thanksgiving is coming up. When I'm filming this, we are a week away from Thanksgiving. So I got a lot of Thanksgiving goods for Thanksgiving because I will be hosting Thanksgiving at our house this year and cooking. I've been doing that for the last couple years. So a lot of this stuff is for Thanksgiving. Also for my stockpile, if you don't already know, I do stockpile. Check out my stockpiling series that I did for I think seven weeks. Um, if you are a prepper or a beginner prepper, definitely check out those videos. Those are gonna be helpful to you on what to stockpile on you guys. So now let me show you guys everything that I got. Starting over here with the meats. I guess we'll start back here. I got two turkey breasts. So these are just the turkey breasts, no bones, anything like that. Mainly my husband doesn't like bones in his meat. Um, and honestly, I feel like this is just so much better. There's no wings. You don't have to cut around anything. You don't have to worry about, you know, cutting into bone or anything like that. It's just straight up turkey breast. So we've got two of those for Thanksgiving. And then we've got two of the Farmer John's maple pork sausage links. We've got two things of bacon. We've got some chicken breast here. I picked up some beef for stir fry, some carne asada meat, and some hamburger. For some non-food items, I got this sippy cup for baby girl to try. I'm trying to get her off the bottles, which is super, super hard because she is super attached to her bottle like it's a binky. So we're gonna give this a whirl and see. Um, we just got the Winco brand, like, stomach relief, like, Pepto-Bismol. Um, as we were shopping in the store, Benjamin was complaining that his stomach hurt. He did have, like, cheesy bread and pizza for dinner, so we're thinking maybe that was the cause. So we've got him some of this, and he feels better now. I've got a turkey baster because mine broke from um, the last couple of years that I've had one. I've got these takeout containers for Thanksgiving so people can take leftovers home. I've got these oven bags for the turkeys. 
This is a game changer, you guys. You put your turkey in one of these and your turkey is going to come out so moist. Definitely be on the lookout for all of my Thanksgiving short recipes, you guys. So I've got that. Can't resist their book bin at Winco. Absolutely love it. Their books are always a great price. So I got this Tommy De Paola book, which I absolutely love this author. And I'm also in the works of collecting all of his books. I have a few of them, but I have never seen this one. So this is Mariana May and Nursery. So we've got this book. Absolutely love this author. Such beautiful images. So anyway, I've got that book for $3.98, you guys. You cannot beat that price. So I've got a book there. Um, they have this pack of cutting boards, you guys. Two for like $7, which I thought was a pretty good price. So we've got some cutting boards. And then I've just got some of these disposable like cooking pan trays. So I've got like a smaller one. I've got some medium-sized ones. And then one for my turkeys. So we've got some of those. So I want to show you guys my dear friend gave me a bag of persimmons. So shout out to you girl if you are watching this. I have never had any so me and Benjamin are going to try these out. So she gave me a few of those to try. Produce, we've got a bag of apples. I picked up some people de gallo. This is just like a cheat sheet for me so I don't have to make it myself. So I've got some of that. Some blueberries, strawberries, some pineapple there. I've got some bok choy. I have been craving a ramen bowl, so I've got some of that for that. We've got some bananas. I've got some fresh rosemary. I went ahead and picked it up, even though we're a week away, because they were completely out of everything, you guys. So I couldn't find thyme or sage anywhere, so we're gonna have to drive around and hopefully we can find some. But I picked that up. Got some little tomatoes here. Some snap peas, a bag of like salad mix. We've got two yellow onions, a red bell pepper, some mini cucumbers, two green peppers, and three crowns of broccoli. Moving along over here, I've got this caramel macchiato um, iced coffee. I've got three things of orange juice. These are shelf stable, you guys, so I really like that. I want to see how long they last. Let's see. So they expire in December of 2024, so they're going to last a whole year. Um, so that is great. So I really like this because it's shelf stable orange juice. So I've got three of those. I've got some grape juice. I've got two jugs of whole milk. And then I've got some like little snappy things for the kids. I got this one for baby girl. It comes with apples, goldfish, and cheese. And then for the boys, I got them both the same. It has apples, jerky sticks, goldfish, and cheese. I've got two of those. I've got some sour cream. Two of the light whip topping. I usually get the zero sugar, but these are only 98 cents for the light. So I picked up two of those. I've got some pie crust for Thanksgiving. I plan on making a coconut cream pie, which is mine and Benjamin's favorite pie next to pumpkin pie. So I've got one of those. I've got two of these honey ham, um, like Lunchable type things. I've got two of those. And then I got two of the pepperoni pizza ones. I've got a two pack of cream cheese. I've got two things of butter sticks. I've got some Go-Gurts there for the kids. Some string cheese for the kids to snack on. Got some Velveeta cheese slices. Sharp cheddar cheese. Colby Jack cheese. I've got two of the home style biscuits to make homemade donuts. And then two of the flaky buttery biscuits. We've got toaster strudels. Ben and Brody have been absolutely loving me, so I picked up a box of those. We've got some fish sticks. Two boxes of the Funfetti pancakes. Everybody absolutely love these, I think just because they're colorful. They don't taste any different from any regular mini pancakes, but they love them, so I picked up two boxes of those. This stuff, you guys, oh my gosh, I miss this. This is so good. If you ever go to Winco, pick up one of these because this tastes amazing. This is the beef and broccoli, and then I also got the chicken stir fry. They have a bunch of different, like, um, quick meals like this, and oh my god, they're so, so good, especially when you don't feel like cooking anything for a quick lunch or dinner, so I got two of those. 
Um, I've got two things of the 100% whole wheat. And if you don't know, you can freeze bread. And when you're ready, take it out. It does not change the texture at all and makes your bread last a lot longer. So that's what I'm going to do. Set one out and freeze one. Great prepper hack right there, you guys. I've got some mini marshmallows for our yams for Thanksgiving. We've got some brown and served dinner rolls. These are my husband's favorite. We've got some sourdough bread. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about these wonton chicken and vegetable dumplings. I absolutely love dumplings. Like I said, I've been craving a ramen bowl, like an authentic, like Asian ramen bowl. So I got some of these to go on the side or even throw in my soup. So got a big bag of those. I've got some chicken and cheese taquitos, some mozzarella cheese sticks. I got two of these poppin' chicken things for baby girl and Brody for a quick lunch or dinner. A DiGiorno pizza for one night when we don't feel like cooking. That is a staple in this house. Over here, these are so hard to find. I never find these at Walmart ever. Um, these are the Jiffy Apple Cinnamon Muffin Mix. These used to be like 50 cents a box. I think they're like a dollar now at Walmart, like a dollar something. But at Winco, I was able to find them for 50 cents, you guys. So that was amazing. So I picked up four of those. I got these pretzel and cheese dips for a snack for the kids. The chocolate Teddy Grahams. Some maple and brown sugar for breakfast. Oatmeal. I got some hint of lime flotitos chips for my pico de gallo over there. Some Captain Crunch, my OG cereal that I used to eat growing up. That was my favorite. And then I got some of the roasted seaweed snacks in the teriyaki flavor. Me and Benjamin absolutely love these. And these are going to go perfect with my ramen bowls. Got some of the caramel rice crisps. Some of these Harvest Snaps Light and Creamy Caesars. I love these things. Definitely check these out if you guys haven't already. They taste so good and they have a lot of different flavors. I've got some of these Fruit Crisps. These are the Asian dried pears for baby girl to try out. I've got some of the Garden Tomato Little Crunchies for her. I've got this Banana Blueberry Blackberry Oatmeal little toddler pouch for her. This beech nut veggie zucchini spinach and banana one and a pumpkin zucchini and apple one for her got some cereal bars the applejack ones and the cinnamon toast crunch ones i've got some of these vegetable rice crusts for baby girl um, i picked up four packets of the country gravy mix for biscuits and gravy one day this week and then just have extra on hand. I've got some toasted onion dip mix and green onion dip mix. I'm going to make some dip for Thanksgiving and uh, my parents have always mixed these two together so that's what I'm going to do and you just mix this in with sour cream. So I've got that and then this was something new that I've never seen. It's shredded beef with beef broth. Um, it says it's fully cooked and ready to eat. So I thought this was a great prepping find. Um, looks like it expires within the year, which is not that bad. Um, so I wanted to give this a try. And the ingredients look really good and simple. Cooked shredded beef, beef broth, and salt. So I thought this, if it tastes good, I would definitely pick up more next time. But I thought this would be a great prepper item to have because you know you need to have protein in your preps. You need to have meat in your preps because in the event that, you know, electricity is not an option, you want to have protein that is shelf stable. So I picked up this to try. Got three boxes of the chicken rice roni. That is a staple in this house. We've got some cookies and cream pop tarts. Got some extra butter flavored popcorn. Um, some crunchy shells for a quick taco night. I've got a big pack of these applesauce pouches. It comes with cinnamon, strawberry, and apple. We've got a variety pack for the kids. It comes with the mini sandwich cream cookies, mini chocolate chip cookies, Doritos, Funyuns, and some white cheddar smart food popcorn. Down here, I've also got a variety pack of goldfish in the pizza, cheddar, and parmesan flavor. Because all of the kids absolutely love goldfish, so we always have to make sure to have that on hand. 
down here I've got these coconut caramel fudge cookies. You guys, these literally taste just like Girl Scout cookies. Kid you not, but for a way better price. So get you some. So we've got some of those. We've got some double stuffed Oreo cookies. I picked up some little juice drops for the kids. This is the Crystal Light Strawberry Lemonade and the Blackberry Lemonade. We've got two things of chili powder to stock up on, some tahine. Benjamin wanted to try this with his apples, so we got him some of that. I've got this Chef Boyardee rice with chicken and vegetables for baby girl to try. And for some of our Uncle Ben's rices, I've got the long grain and wild, basmati, cilantro lime, and roasted chicken. Also picked up my stuffing for Thanksgiving. So I got two boxes of the cornbread one and then two boxes of the savory herbs. All right, moving along, I've got some green La Victoria taco sauce and some red La Victoria taco sauce. Picked up some of this Pico Pico hot sauce for my tacos. This Kin's Steakhouse Light Creamy Caesar dressing. Some gochujang hot and sweet sauce for my ramen, ramen bowls. Some plain pinko breadcrumbs for my macaroni and cheese for Thanksgiving. And you guys, I was so excited when I seen this because I can hardly find this anywhere. I thought I was gonna have to go down to the Asian market. But this is authentic Korean kimchi. I am super excited to put this in my ramen bowls, you guys. So I've got some of that. Got some strawberry jelly here. Two things of the Skippy creamy peanut butter. These are my holy grails. My dad used this growing up on all of his turkeys and I also use it on my turkeys as well. So these are the Tony's injectable uh, marinade for your turkey and this is the butter flavor. And then I also got the roasted garlic and herb. Definitely try these out if you haven't already. They definitely bring a lot of moisture and flavor to your turkeys. So, got some of those. It's gonna make it really, really juicy. And I've got two boxes of pancake and waffle mix. As you know, Stapleness household, every time I go grocery shopping, I get a five pound bag of white rice. So I've got some of those. I've got a big bag of corn tortillas. I got a big bag of like the basically cocoa puffs, but this is called cocoa roux. So I've got some of those. Dad staple, two things of Dr. Pepper and lots of ramen options. I have some ramen up there. I have two different types of chicken ramen up there. Picked up some shrimp, some chili one, and then I got a bunch of cup of noodles for easy quick to go options. I've got roast chicken and lime chili flavor with shrimp. I don't sell top ramen um, or cup of noodles anymore at Walmart. Um, so as you know, I do shop at Walmart a lot. Most of the time I get Walmart delivery. Um, so that was nice to see this. So I had to stock up on that. So baby girl is awake. I'm holding her in my arms. So I'm gonna quickly get through these canned goods. I've got two things of these sliced back olives and corned beef hash. My dad used to make this for us growing up and I haven't seen it in a super long time. And I haven't even thought about it in a long time. So I picked some up and I thought that would be a great thing to have in my stockpile. I've got some SpaghettiOs for baby girl. I've got four things of the diced green chilies, four things of these small cans of tomato sauce. I've got four things of the whole potatoes, you guys. This is a game changer. These are so good. You can slice them up, put them in a chicken roast, and you'll never know the difference between real boiled potatoes and these, you guys. So definitely get you some for your stockpile. I've got two cans of evaporated milk. If I can move around here, I've got some of my favorite um, soups. I've got the jazzy jambalaya with chicken, sausage, and ham, and the chicken and sausage gumbo. I've also got some 99% fat-free chicken noodle soup, and chicken and orzo with lemon, and the Progresso soups. These are my favorite soup brands. I've got some bacon spam. Spam is not for everyone, but me and the boys love it here, so I love to stockpile on this. In the event that we can't have bacon, um, we have bacon in a can, basically. So we've got some of that. I've got three of the big cans of tomato sauce. I picked up some Hunt's pasta sauce and the meat flavor and the four cheese flavor. We do make our own homemade spaghetti sauce, but sometimes I just want a super quick sauce that I don't have to do anything with. Got two cans of sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving, and then I've got some butter beans and some black 
by Peace by the Glory brand, which I absolutely love that brand. Their canned goods are so good and don't need a whole lot of seasoning to add to it. So those are all of my canned goods. All right, you guys. So as you can see, little Miss Thing is awake. Say hello. <laughs> So that is everything that I got this week at Winco, you guys. If you have a Winco near you, definitely check it out. You will not be disappointed on their prices. I definitely think that you get the most for your money. So that is everything that I got this week for our Thanksgiving stock up, holiday stock up, whatever you want to call it, because this food is going to last us quite a while. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy my grocery hauls, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. You know that I love chatting with you guys. And until next time. Bye. Can I say bye? Bye. Love kiss. <laughs> <laughs>